This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demonstration, we're going to look at the process of installing and configuring Hyper-V. Hyper-V is the virtualization software, as we've talked about, in Windows Server 2012, uh, and installed, really, just like any other role. Okay? In fact, uh, I'm going to use the machine that I've been using um, for these demos, and so that means that it's got Hyper-V already installed. Uh, but let me just show you add roles and features, nothing really to look at anyway. We hit next, it's a role-based installation. Choose the local server, and then we choose the Hyper-V role, okay? Uh, and really, there would be no additional components. It would just install that, as well as the administrative tools, would require you to reboot, and then the system would come back up. So just to save us a little time, like I said, it's already, already installed. We'll jump right into the Hyper-V uh, manager. Okay. And here, you can configure some uh, initial settings. You can right-click, and we got Hyper-V settings. Okay. Uh, this would be the default location for the, uh, the virtual hard disk, uh, the default location for the virtual machines. It's the same, same place. Uh, we've got some other settings uh, related to uh, memory architecture. Uh, we've got uh, whether or not we're going to allow migrations. That's a little bit out of the scope here. Just kind of dealing at this point with the basics of Hyper-V. But you've got some of that general configuration. Uh, you've got uh, keyboard settings, uh, you know, when you use key combinations. Uh, the default is actually to use stuff on a physical computer, but if you want to use it on the virtual machine, always you can, or only when running full screen. You know, some basic options, mouse release, uh, and, and whatnot. Okay, that's okay there. And then we've got also a virtual switch manager. Uh, the virtual switches are going to be the network cards uh, that are available to uh, the individual VMs. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, virtual SAN, whoops, clicked the wrong thing. The virtual SAN manager uh, is the uh, ability to connect directly. Uh, to fiber channel storage area networks if you have uh, one of those. Okay? And then, of course, we've got you know, the ability to stop and start services and import VMs, create new VMs or virtual hard disk, uh, those kinds of things. And, of course, we'll, we'll get, into, uh, uh, get into how to go about doing that in, the, uh, in a future demo. But for right now, we just want to take a look you know, at how to install that service. Uh, some of the basic administration also point you to this. That's uh, get command and module is Hyper-V. Uh, 160 some odd commands in the Hyper-V module in server 2012. Uh, so really, literally the ability to do everything uh, as it relates to Hyper-V. And so in some cases, you might be running the Hyper-V only version of server. Uh, in which case, you know, we can uh, just have a command line environment and I can use PowerShell locally or remote PowerShell uh, to manage those, uh, those systems. So right now, run get VM, it's going to get me a list of all the virtual machines that are running on my system. I can sort by uptime, I can see other statistics, we can create snapshots, we can stop and start, you know, add additional VM switches and connect those. And so any, anything and everything you want is there uh, in Windows. Uh, PowerShell. So that's going to complete this demonstration, installing and configuring Hyper-V. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.